The thinking is that including both apps with future versions of Windows could prove redundant later on. Still, the deprecation of MS Paint is a bit of a bummer. Even if I use stuff like Photoshop 95% of the time, I still find myself going back to paint for my work here on LGR, strictly due to how dead simple it is for doing very simple things, like crapping screenshots and opening downloaded images with corrupt file headers. And besides, there's something to be said for the foolproof nature of paint, as the most basic of image editing programs and the odd nostalgic connection many people have towards it. So even though paint will still be available in the Windows Store or your own backups in the future, let's go ahead and take a look back at the history of MS Paint before its development ceased in 2017. That history starts in the early 1980s with the coinciding of two notable events. The introduction of the IBM PC in 1981, Paint. and the release of the first PC mouse in 1983. IBM's release of the PC was a watershed moment for the personal computer industry, inadvertently creating a standard for what defines a PC to this day. But it only came with a keyboard. Having a mouse on an IBM PC didn't become the norm until years later. What? Not only that, but a mouse wasn't even the first choice for many folks, with light pens, graphics, tablets, and analog joysticks, all providing alternative input solutions for use with graphics and imaging programs. Nonetheless, some companies were adamant that the mouse was the future. One of these companies was, rather obviously, Mouse Systems. They kicked things off in 1982 by debuting the first optical mouse, invented by Stephen Kirsch which won a Best New Product Award at the Mini Micro Show that year. By January of 1983, they had released the Mouse Systems PC Mouse, beating Microsoft to market by several months to become the first commercially available mouse for the IBM PC. Windows Around this time, Mouse Systems hired Doug Wolfgram and John Bridges, 